Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who register through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a botanical mini canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. In our small white envelopes this month, uh, you have all the things that you'll need. We've got our mini four by four canvases that come complete with a little easel that you can um, display your work on later. We've got a little bit of Mod Podge as well as a foam brush. Um, in your kits, there are some white tweezers. I had just enough for kits, so today I'm gonna to be using just some tweezers we have here at the library. And then there, uh, you'll have a small, um, folded in half piece of cardstock and inside will be your dried flowers. Um, everyone has just kind of a random supply. So really your first step is honestly going to be deciding how you want your um, mini canvas to be designed, kind of laying out uh, what you've got. If you decide to go out in your yard or local to you and grab and dry out yourself um, some local flora. That would be kind of a really cool thing for this project as well. Um, but for today's video, we're gonna get keep it pretty quick and just go ahead and um, do with what we've got here. So these canvases do have a plastic cover on them, so you will definitely need to remove that prior to starting your project. So I get my plastic off. I'll take that to the recycle in a little bit. And I love this one, um, both for how it looks as well as kind of the simplicity of getting it going. Um, really, I'm just gonna take some of the podge here and lay myself down a nice little coating onto my canvas, just really thin. Uh, it looks like this is the foam brush I used the last time. It's got a little bit of dust in it. No worries. Um, and lay out my design. So I've got kind of some some real purpley red magenta. Um, I have in here, looks like it might have been a rose or a peony perhaps. Um, and you can see that I've already lost some petals on that. So I'm actually going to incorporate that straight into my design. And giving this laid down. Oh, see, I just lost another petal. And I am just going to use that a little bit out. Grab some more petals as if they're falling off. Almost, you remember the uh, Beauty and the Beast movie when the rose petals start falling? That's it. Notice, oh, where'd my other petal go? It's still stuck to my finger. Using the tweezers, I can really get these petals laid down without having them fall off or stick to my finger. There's my other. And I want to use some greenery below here. I'm going to slide this under just a smidge so I still have that curl on the top. And we're going to come over the top of this with our uh, Mod Podge at the end to really seal it in. So I'm not too worried that this piece really isn't sticking down that much. Although before I do my top sealing, I'm going to go back to it. So I've got a little blue flower here. Um, let's see. This one was just, there were a few pieces of kind of a pinky green ring that I'll use here. Just kind of tapping that down and if my um, tackiness kind of dries out, I can come back and give a little more to the areas I want to put something down. That way they really pop. A little, well, this white one I definitely want to put right on so I will need a little bit of and I'm just gonna lightly drop that on top and there's my white flower that 
way it should pop out and be able to be seen. Got another little piece of greenery. I think I might overlap that a little bit. There. And let's see. Is that maybe too much? Oh no, I like that there. Go ahead and tap that down. And then one last flower here. I think I'll probably let those two petals just kind of stay. One last. Oh. I don't think I really need this leaf. We'll take that right off. There we go. All right, so again, for me, this one's a little bit too thick with the bottom of the stem there. So let me get a little bit of podge right on the back of it so we can really get it to stick down to the canvas, which is what we want. Make sure I get back on there, kind of where my Petals were coming off, pressing it down, using, there we go. All right, so now I need to do, um, I can give it a few minutes to allow what's on the bottom to really kind of set in. Um, I'm going to go ahead for video purposes so we don't go too long for you folks and you can get right to doing your own. I'm just going to come through gently laying a top coating of the podge. I am not worried that this seems to be a little bit um, covering my plants and with a white when this podge dries it's just um, the clear and I believe it is the satin finish so it should have a little bit of a sheen to it when it does dry. Some things are definitely going to move as I go across. No worries there. I'm going to just make sure that I put them right back down. And if I need to use my tweezers, I can come through with the tweezers and help use them to help me hold down the dried flowers on the canvas while I come over with the top part. And I'm really just getting the smallest amount of podge on the top of my foam brush so that I can kind of dab it right on top. I'm not really swiping because that will, these dried, dried flowers are very delicate and any swiping like that that I do um, could very likely damage them um, and remove pieces, kind of how I lost some of the petals in my original flower. So I'm just gonna come through. After I give this layer some time to dry, I can also come back through again um, once it's really sealed on there and do if I don't like how um, kind of dabbing has left maybe not a smooth surface, I can come back again with the podge that I have left over and really um, smooth out this surface. And then with that protection, I'll have no problem doing a um, brush stroke motion when I come back through. And now this flower definitely is going to take a little bit more um, and that way I don't lose as many petals and then once it's sealed I can come back again using as I said the tweezers to hold down while I add my top coating and still I'm getting some of my petals coming off but again I can put them right back and that is just the cool look of my botanical canvas. Now I haven't put anything down on my workspace um, because I am definitely going to clean this up and Mod Podge cleans up pretty uh, easily. But if you'd like, you can always put something down on your workspace um, to help. I'm going to give this some time to dry and we're going to come back and it's going to be this really cool little botanical. I could have left some space and um, wrote on this if I wanted to, added some extra designs, that kind of fun stuff. But Really, this canvas project was just to give you the idea of bringing some of the outdoors, a little botanical to our canvas, that it doesn't necessarily always have to be a paint project. So as always, we hope you enjoyed this virtual canvas project, and we would love to see any of your completed projects and look forward to next month. Thanks for watching.